I should have introduced her as our women's ministries president, and I'm just filling in for her tonight up here. This really is her place. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony. Totally. Welcome to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to read something to you because tonight we're called uh, Remember When. The heading of this, some of you may, may have had it in an email along the way, but it's still cute to read. Hey, wasn't that us? Sure it was. A little house with three bedrooms, one bathroom, and one car on the street, a mower that had to, you had to push to make the grass look neat. In the kitchen on the wall, we only had one phone, and no need for recording things. Someone was always home. We only had a living room where we would congregate, unless it was at mealtime in the kitchen where we ate. Oh, that gets me. Um, we had no need for family rooms or extra rooms to dine. When meeting as a family, those two rooms worked just fine. We only had one TV set and channels maybe two, but always there was one of them with something worth the view. The snacks we had potato chips that tasted like a chip, and if you wanted flavor, there was Lipton's onion dip. <laughs> Store-bought snacks were rare because my mother liked to cook, and nothing can compare to snacks in Betty Crocker's book. Weekends were for the family trips or staying home to play. We all did things together, even go to church and pray. When we did our weekend trips, depending on the weather, no one stayed at home because we liked being together. Sometimes we would separate to do things on our own, but we knew where the others were without our cell phone. Uh -oh. Then there were the movies with your favorite movie star, and nothing can compare to watching movies in your car. Then there were the picnics at the peak of summer season. Pack a lunch and find some trees. Never need a reason. Get a baseball game together with all the friends you know. Have real action playing ball. No game video. Remember when the doctor used to be the family friend? and didn't need insurance or, your, or a lawyer to defend. <laughs> the way that he took care of you or what he had to do, because he took an oath and strived to do the best for you. Remember when going to the store and shopping casually, and when you went to pay for it, you used your own money? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that you had to swipe or punch in some amount. Remember when the cashier person really had to count? The milkman used to go by the, from door to door, and it was just a few cents more than going to the store. Then there was a time when mail letters came right to your door. Without a lot of junk, mail ads went out every, without every store. The mailman knew each house by name and knew where it was sent. There were not loads of mail addressed to present occupants. <laughs> there was a time when just one glance was all that it would take, and you would know the kind of car, the model, and the make. They didn't look like turtles trying to squeeze out every mile. They were streamlined, white walls, fins, and really had style. One time the music that you played whenever you would jive was from a vinyl, big old record called a 45. The record player had a post to keep them all in line, and then the records would drop down and play one at a time. Oh, sure, we had our problems then, and just like we do today, and always we were striving, trying for a better way. Oh, the simple life we live still seems like so much fun. How can you explain a game? Just kick the can and run. And why would boys put baseball cars between bicycle spokes? And four nickel red machines had little bottled Cokes. This life seems so much easier and slower in some ways. I love the new technology, but I sure miss those days. So time moves on, and so do we. And nothing stays the same. But I sure love to reminisce and walk down memory lane. I'm sure you can remember all of those, can't you? At least most of them can. 